the rules and regulations were so strict, we could not leave the campus without permission. We had a house mother that made sure lights out were at 1030. The director of nursing and the house mother knew where we were 24-7. Every morning when we reported for inspection, it was the director of nursing that would check our fingernails to make sure there was no nail polish, no makeup, and an, a very simple hairdo. No handkerchiefs in the pocket. Now, my last six months I spent in Staten Island, New York at the Marine Hospital. And there we cared for as many as 50 patients a day. We had a lot of merchant marine and Coast Guard troops mm -hmm. that were coming home. Many were amputees, a lot of paraplegics and head injuries. We just had to give a lot of rehabilitation. Uh, their wounds had been cared for either, you know, on the way home, on the medical ships. So helping them emotionally to accept that there are limitations. I woke up one morning and I'm saying, I, I'm on my own. You know, for the first time, I didn't have to report to a house mother. I could do as I pleased, and it was a big adjustment, you know. But I really am so grateful for the training and the discipline that we learned at Mass Memorial. Without the fundamentals of nursing that they provided to me, I would not have been able to assume the responsibility. We were prepared on the last six months to assume that responsibility of a graduate nurse.